and back to my story. So yeah, ever since I was just started looking at women's bodies and it, I appreciated them and um, started wearing dresses. <laughs> the first time I probably, it was my mom's dress. I tried on my mom's dress actually without really telling her, I just borrowed it. And to be honest, I was really scared, but it just felt natural. It felt like me. It felt like I wanted, that's who I wanted to be. And that's what I wanted to be expressed as. And um, sure, it felt like bliss and joy, but I was so scared of other people's opinions and what they would say to me. And maybe I'd lose friends, maybe I'd lose family. But all of that didn't matter as long and forgot to say that all that doesn't matter as long as you're happy and you choose to be you all that other stuff won't matter you want to be the same side as your your mind wants to be the same side as your heart and by doing that you can do things at an optimal level pace and you can live your dreams right if your mind and heart are not on the same team then you're gonna have troubles with depression and anxiety and that's just your heart telling you you got to change to be you right Um, and, uh, when I started buying my first, when I started buying my first dresses, I actually went to the thrift store. I went to all the thrift stores and I was so scared. Like I just couldn't go and just pick out a dress. I had to wait until everybody leaves the aisle. I had to, I was so just scared and that was so bad of me to do because all I was doing was just being myself, right? It doesn't matter who looks at you. Really, it doesn't matter. You gotta, I gotta stop caring about other people's opinions, which I sort of did now, but I want to relay that information back to my audience. Just be you, as long as you don't harm anyone, as long as it doesn't harm anyone, as long as you're being you and you're expressing your authentic self, that's all that matters in this world. Your happiness and just growing with others. So yeah, I bought my first dress and my first articles of clothing, my first hot pair of high heels as well at a thrift store. It was used, they're quite dirty, but I just was so happy that I had a pair. Of course I had to hide them. I put them in, I put them in my backpacks so my mom and dad couldn't see. And it was a tough time, it really was. When they would go to work, that's the only time I had to really dress up and have fun. And it was just years like that. It was like a cycle of depression, throwing out my clothes, then buying them back again, throwing them out. And there was just this cycle of depression and anxiety, which never ended because I never got to experience my true authentic self, right? And the day I fixed that, like I told my mom and she supported me for it. It wasn't easy to tell because once again, it's new to her, right? having a son who puts on a dress like like bro like it's gonna be a chit chat you know what I mean sure it's gonna be new to them but the way you communicate it matters if you communicate it properly they'll understand you and they and they'll help support you they'll help you they'll come buy new dresses with you like that's important that your family can do these things with you